Hey guys, this is another video on 4K HDR. We've been doing comparison videos lately on HDR on, HDR off, and a lot of you have been impressed with the difference in color and just the depth the image creates and how beautiful the effects are and how atmospheric it looks. Unfortunately for some of you guys, you purchased 4K displays even six months before HDR was released. And like all of us that are into technology, found yourself with a display that you and your mind are starting to feel is obsolete. Even though it has the resolution that was never fully used until right this moment, you're kind of saying to yourself, I really wish I had Dolby Vision, HDR10, just to have this kind of color, this kind of beauty to the image. Um, not just in games, but in movies and in sports and everything else. So what I want to do is kind of go through that a little bit. And this is for one of our new subscribers, David Capoto, who had a Sony, I think it's an 850B, which was a very highly rated display at the time, excellent for gaming, excellent for movies, but just missed the HDR window. And he's thinking about casting it aside and purchasing a new display. Now, I want to go a little bit into HDR and the effects that it has, just like the videos that we posted. I love the image that it creates. I love all this extra color. I love the parallax. I love how it just makes the image pop. I didn't love it at first with how it was implemented and I do believe that it's maturing still. I do believe the displays in the future, not that far away, will be 12-bit. I believe they'll have higher nits to take advantage of Dolby Vision and it's maturing. It's not fully fledged. When the Xbox One S released, I was very disappointed with how HDR was handled and how it looked. I am happier with it now, but do I think it's worth you guys that have either 1080p displays or 4K displays non-HDR, is it worth jumping to a whole new display and casting your old one aside? And in my opinion, the answer is no. Do I think it's a big difference? I do. I think it's a, a beautiful difference. But do I think you can enjoy 4K resolution? Especially now with those of you that have picked up an Xbox One X or a PS4 Pro, you're getting a taste of what 4K resolution really is. You're getting a taste of what PC gamers have had for the longest time, and you can see what 4K really is. I want you guys to be a little bit more realistic on what 4K is and what HDR is and realize that if you went and picked up an Xbox One S for HDR and put it on your TV that was HDR, you were kind of disappointed with that image. It was washed out, it was dim. Now you have 4K resolution on PS4 Pro, and I don't care if it's dynamic resolution or whatever we want to call it, you're finally seeing what these systems can do, and PC guys and everything else. So in order to get a picture like this, do you feel like you need to have HDR? I mean, it's beautiful, look at all the colors. But what I want to show David and some others is that this is not an HDR game. This is Vanishing of Ethan Carter. This is a PC game. It's out for PS4 as well. This is actually 4x4 Chroma. It is actually 8-bit. It's not 10-bit. And it looks amazing. So the reason I show this game is it has a very HDR look to it. It's gorgeous. So to have David trade in a display that can actually show this kind of detail and show this kind of color for HDR, I think would be a huge waste. On my, P my PC, I have 50-something games. I think three of them are HDR capable. Out of my Xbox One and PS4 Pro, I maybe have seven or eight games that are really HDR. Out of my movies, all the Blu-rays, even the 4K Blu-rays, I only have six or seven that actually have HDR. So for me, it's not worth spending another four, five thousand dollars on a technology that is still maturing. So those of you that have your 4K displays, you know, embrace them, enjoy them, and in my opinion, wait a little longer for the next generation. Wait for the displays to get higher, peak brightness. I think they're amazing now, but don't cast aside that 4K display that you just had a few years. Enjoy it. Enjoy this kind of image quality. And HDR is not the end-all be-all. It's great, but don't chase it and just enjoy what you have. All right, guys. Thank you, as always. Take care.